Hello again, folks. This is uh, Scott out in Queensbury. Uh, I'm doing a review on my homemade uh, kindling cracker that was made uh, strictly out of three 2x4s, stained, piece of steel, and uh, four L brackets. So this is a simple, uh, easy build that anybody can do. Uh, so if you got those hard start mornings and you need that extra, uh, you want that fire up and running as fast as you can, um, take your currently already uh, seasoned split wood, whatever, and you can break it down. Simply all you need to do is you stick it over the top here, take your large hammer or even a small hammer, in this case, this is all dried out seasoned wood, and just hit the top of it, drops down underneath, and there you go. So you got easy, fast, quick uh, kindling without having to purchase you know, separate bundles of uh, kindling to be able to start your fire. So uh, this right here was actually made by three 2x4s. By uh, several people who had seen these, this is the second one that I have, whatever. The, the first one I, per I picked up at a garage sale. This one here, uh, like I said, I made handmade uh, from the prototype, whatever. Uh, three 2x4s, uh, what is it, a 16 inches high. And what you want to do is you want to double 2x4s across here. To give it that extra strength because you know you're doing that down force with a hammer or whatever uh any piece of steel that you got kicking around basically this right here was uh 12 inches 12 inches piece of steel and actually i'm going to make another uh smaller version uh kindling cracker as well whatever uh but i call this the mini kidney kidney uh, uh kindling cracker uh and you need four l brackets which you can pick up the harsh word they were like a dollar 29 a piece you get four little l brackets and what you want to do is you want to drill holes through the steel through here and here and mount the l brackets and that makes it nice and steady strong and what you want to do at least an inch inch and a half over the top of the two by four right here so this way the down force of the uh the steel is actually on this that's what's taking the abuse and all you do is take your your, your grinder and grind a nice edge on your piece of steel and actually what you could do too if you had an old shovel you could actually take a shovel cut it in half and use the shovel and make a uh, smaller version actually i might do that just for the sake of doing it um as you see here's and oh and we put a nice little tag on it right there okay nice little tag on it um but overall i'd recommend doing one of these versus you know save yourself i mean so all other than gather i got maybe i don't know half an hour and i actually put some redwood stain and stained it give it the antique look so all you need to do is take your hammer put it on the top here and hit it hard and, and break up the kindling so fast and simple homemade kindling cracker uh hopefully you like my review hopefully you go made one everybody who's seen it uh they looked at my prototype and they're gonna go home and make one that uh, they do firewood so overall um you can't beat it so 16 inches high this is uh, 12 inches across, uh, a 12 inch piece of steel. So good to go and it's all nailed together with big long nails. And uh, so have a good day. So Scott again, subscribe to my channel. Talk to you soon, bye. Hello again folks, this is Scott again out in Queensbury. Uh, I'm doing a review on my Kindlin Cracker. Uh, it's an antique one that I picked up at a garage sale, whatever. Uh, amazingly it works really good um, I believe there's a there's a date that's stamped on it. it says 1966 is when it was made so I don't know maybe it's Amish made or somebody made it whatever but it works out very well uh, yeah it's got two sides to it whatever so you can crack and make kindling quite easy so if you got those uh, hard mornings uh, where you can't get the fire to start and you need to uh, take the wood that you've already previously thought out and and all ready to go to use for kindling whatever you can cut it down smaller whatever to get that fire started uh but yeah overall i mean it's a, it's a 1966 uh kindling cracker not sure who the manufacturer is i couldn't find it on the device whatever but um i'll demonstrate it here in a minute you'll see how good it works whatever but you'll see here that's there and earlier today made all kinds of kindling with it real quick and fast and easy worked out really good you just use a hammer Take a hammer, hit the top, and uh, works out really good. All right, get ready. I'm going to demonstrate this. Okay, we'll give you the demonstration of my little uh, firewood cracker. Put it on there, take a big hammer. Quick and simple. You can make firewood kindling really fast on the, on the spot. See? Good size, quick. 
Put it on there. You want a little smaller? Do a little smaller. Let it drop right through. Really simple. Pretty good size. Hit it. The trick is to sharpen this blade with your grinder or whatever so it goes off nice and sharp. You like that, you want a little smaller. So if you got those cold mornings and you want to be able to start that fire fast, that's what you want to do. You want to use this thing. Get as small as you want so you can get those fires to start really fast for you. Like that, a little smaller, yeah. Yep. A matter of seconds and actually uh, after buying this like I say um, you said it was 1966 is when it was, thing, it was made uh, but after buying this I'm going to make a smaller version of it well there's a knot there that's what happens on that one there yeah there we go big knot on there um, make a smaller version of it uh, that way I can bring it into the house well actually you can bring this one to the house it's you know it's not overly big but like that that straight through either side. You got another person next to you. They can they can use one side while you're using the other one. And actually, what happened is this is a demonstration video on this, but I'll uh, I'll uh, make out a plan and tell you how much how much wood you need and uh, how to go about making this. Uh, basically, like I say, you need uh, four two by fours and a big piece of steel. And some L brackets. L brackets to drill the hole and to, uh, put a couple of bolts in it and uh, bolt all this down to the base. And this is really quick and light duty. Look at that. All this kindling. So, why buy kindling when you can do it in a matter of minutes? You can get those uh, cold mornings going for yourself. Okay? Just keep going. And I'd recommend probably wearing gloves so this way. This being so sharp like this, so you don't get splinters in your fingers. Nope. Yep, big knot down, so something like that happens. Like this. Actually, that's a big knot. Throw that in the fire, fireplace behind me here. So, look at that. Hopefully, you like my uh, demonstration. Subscribe to my channel. Um, this will be video one. I'll make video two, describing in detail how to make one of these fast and simple. Uh, or you can buy one cheap like I did here or whatever, and I'm just going to mass produce this and make a couple versions of it, a smaller version. Uh, basically, I don't see more than maybe $25 of material to make this. And if you want to buy like the uh, commercial ones that you see online, they're $350. But this one here is actually it's pretty light. It's made out with four 2x4s and a piece of steel. Really quick and simple and easy. All right, have a nice day. Subscribe to my channel. This is Scott again from Queensbury. Have a good day. Bye. Okay, here's a close-up view. So all you basically got here is a big piece of steel. It's probably, I don't know, 18 foot long. I put uh, some L brackets right here. There are holes drilled through a piece of steel with L brackets with nuts and bolts on both sides, whatever. That way it steadies this and holds it in place. Um, goes right through. The base is built out of two by fours, like four two by fours, okay? And like I say, there's another piece of steel that comes off here. Um, and it's just, it's just fastened to this other piece of wood behind it. It gives it extra strength, whatever. So that thing ain't moving, it's not going anywhere, whatever. And actually it's fairly light. I don't think this whole thing is more than 25 pounds. So you can actually carry it in the house and do whatever you want or you know put it in front of your television and do it but i'm going to mass produce a uh, smaller version of this um you know so it's half the size whatever um, so i can put it right next to my fireplace whatever so i want i want to make kindling really quite uh, fast you see here i mean matter of minutes you got kindling you can keep cutting it smaller and smaller whatever you want to do so basically during the uh earlier in the year or whatever i made bundles uh four inch bundles of uh, hardwood and pine wood and like I say, and I put it up in the pile, so this is all season. And now, because I want fast starting wood to be able to start the fire on the cold nights, because I'm moving a uh, wood stove into the house, whatever, I want to be able to uh, be able to start it up real quick. So this is going to work out great for me. So uh, hope you like my uh, video. Subscribe to my channel, and like I say, I'll make another in-depth video um, 
on how to make one of these fairly simple and cheap. Talk to you then. Bye.